Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Wrong Day Life is Art. I'm here with another design team project for Tsunami Rose Designs. You can find her on Etsy, on Facebook, Instagram and she has a blog site as well. There'll be links to everything down in the description below. This is my this month's design team project. It's a kit called Life of Bloom. It's available in journal size and uh, the standard journal size and the TN version. I've decided to go with the TN version for uh, this time. I also have an embellishment kit as well that accompanies it and there's lots of other bits and pieces from the Etsy shop now. Her prices are very reasonable, they're all $2.50 no matter what you purchase. So that's a great bargain in itself, you don't need no discount codes or anything, those prices stand all the time. So just going into this, that's the cover for you. I've laminated the cover to give it extra sturdiness for those of you that don't want to use it in your midoris or fedoris. It can, it can be used on its own as it is. I forgot to take the measurements but um, I'll get them, to, I'll write them in the description below. That's the spine, of, it's a five-fold pamphlet stitch that I've used. I've just looped the organza ribbon there so that it does, you don't lose it. And if you decide to use it in a fedori, you can just twirl that up around and use it as a bookmark. So it comes in handy for that as well. Just going around to the back. It's a gorgeous collection. I already had the original first part one of it as it is the first Life of Bloom kit. And I, I really, really loved that. That was what got me into Tsunami Rose designs and digital kits, using digital kits. So on this one, I've created like a hidden pocket there. And inside there, I've added some of the ephemera pieces. Now I've printed these on copier paper because I didn't want it getting too bulky. There's a ticket there that says True Beauty Blooms From Within. That's a journal card that I cut down and turned into a smaller card. And there was that piece of ephemera as well. I have used uh, Tim Holtz Distress inks on them. So those all slot back into there. There's a few charms that I've added as well into the paper clips. I've altered some paper clips. And they're all going with the colour schemes and themes as well. So. And at the bottom you can just see one of the two charms that I've used for the centre signature and it says never, never give up. So going into this, there's another hidden pocket there. And inside I've included a library ticket and a tag. come up really beautiful that I've printed some on white cards some on cream card the different weights as well so you've got lots of different textures going on there I've just distressed that bit so it's a little bit obvious as well and what I another thing I did is um, that is a double print so that even when you look into the pocket I don't know if you'll be able to see in the camera the image is still carrying on so that you've It's not just the card. I've added back it up with craft card as well to make it a bit more sturdy. But and the other good thing about the laminate is you can stick post-it notes on as well, so you've got a place to keep them handy. I've included. I like doing pocket letters as well, which is using the ATC cards. And for those of you that aren't familiar, the, the um, standard playing cards or baseball card size. Wall, uh, wallet for it so I've cut that down and I've used that as a pocket here so you could add in washi tape samples or bits of other ephemera that you have I've included these envelopes that I've shrunk down you could use these to give notes or write do a bit of journaling inside them you could even laminate these and add your washi tape samples to them or add some buttons inside the envelopes. 
and other paper clips and things as well and you could pop that back in there for safekeeping so you can use them uh, as your journaling so there's four envelopes two in the front two at the back and then the middle pockets have included some of the ephemera that came with the kit so that's the library card that came with the life of bloom 2 kit that's a frame piece just like this and then there's um, just a flower cut out that I did I fussy cut that and I've included that in and I actually really liked the way it looked over that frame so maybe you could use that somewhere around your journaling just like that that's the gorgeous papers I didn't think uh, Daisy would be able to outdo the Life of Bloom kit but this is very very close if not surpassing it I've still mixed in some of the Life of Bloom kit so that's the writing paper from that first kit there's the flowers again these are envelope pocket pages and inside these are the large ATCs that I've shrunk down and kept together so it's a little flip book there that's just some scrapbook paper that I just folded up and added inside that comes with the Life of Bloom kit as well these are from a different of uh, Daisy's kits the music papers I always used to have trouble finding music paper but now I can just print off whatever I want whenever I want that ticket comes with the Life of Bloom 2 kit as well and I've left it as a tuck spot in case you want to put something inside this, some, that's another one of her kits some writing paper from there and that's a, ro a rose kit I think as well she's got these pages I can't remember if I shrunk them down I think they're supposed to be um, small journal cards but I left two together and turned them into small half pages instead because I really like the look of that that's some distress paper a, a kit of tsunami roses that I've used on the back these are uh, bing bingo kits <coughs> excuse me bingo cards from another one of her kits now I've kind of got a little theme going on with the colours if you in case you, uh, you, you're not aware Wrong there does mean colour it, which is part of the name that I do, so I like to include colour into my journals and craft projects. So I've got like a pink theme going on here, and there's a few more colours as we get to them. You'll see greens and yellows and blues as well. So I chose some tags and things that went with that. That's the same tag from the other sheet. I'm just in an island, put some organza ribbon through it. Those are some planner cards that Daisy does in, uh, as well, and I've left the back plain for some journaling. That's a Martha Stewart punch that I've used. I really like that punch. I've got uh, quite a few of her punches. Um, unfortunately, I've heard that they have retired a lot of them, but I'll always use that despite having some of my dice as well. So That comes with the Life of Bloom 2 kit, as does that. That's part of the distressed paper kit is again. That's another of the kit's things to do. Distressed a doily with some vintage uh, photo from Tim Holt. That's another of the fuzzy cut flowers. I think Daisy does offer, for those of you who don't have um, printers, she does offer printouts and she, uh, she can send them to you as well. So do check out that service. This is from one of her freebie kits on her blog. Her rosette provision, I think it was. It's a writing paper from there. This is the Life of Bloom 2 kit. I think that would be really nice towards the front as well. You could probably write, this journal belongs to, and then write your details. Or you could even stick a picture in there. That would look really nice as well. You'll have to excuse me. Um, the way I sound, throat's quite dry. That's the Life of Bloom first kit. That's just a paper bag I had, and I turned that into a, a little page. Uh, that's another fuzzy cut flower of hers. That's from the part two Life of Bloom kit. These file folders are also offered in a variety of sizes. 
and you can always play around with the sizes yourself as well and shrink them or enlarge them. Just a bit of scrap bit paper in there as well. And that's from one of the rose kits. And again on the other side that's some more papers from my kit. But this is the green ones. So I've included a file folder in there. And these mason jars are also available from Tsunami Rose. I think everything in, in, that you see in this journal is all from Tsunami Rose. I've tried to use flat, I mean, I've not, instead of doing stamping on things, I've just used the cutouts and put them in all these places. That's the tuck spot again. That's some paper from one of my sketchbooks. So. That's the Life of Bloom 2 kit. The calendar pages from a different kit. And that's from the Life of Bloom 2 kit as well. And then that's just a little tuck spot I created there, and you'll see why in a minute. Another of the fuzzy cut flowers that I've attached there, and that's a Martha Stewart punch as well. So what I did with this one, I accidentally printed out this page twice. So rather than letting it go to waste, I turned it into a, almost like a, it, it blends in with the design, but it's a flip out page. As you can see, I've added the flowers there again, just popped in a couple of the scrapbook papers that I had left over. And that's the paper there, but this is actually a pocket as well, so that's tea stained paper. And inside the pocket, we have these. That's how the page is printed out. You could cut them up and have two journaling cards if you wanted. But I've just kept them together like that, so it's a little flip book. And those as well, I've stuck two different planner cards together. I always say I'm going to do short videos and then I carry on talking. But I want you to know everything that I've done as well, so it's kind of like a how-to and all. So this is like a coin envelope. There's these inserts that go with it. You could mix and match them around as well. Pop a tag in instead. And I've just glued it along the sides there so that I've got a tuck spot as well for another of the planner cards. That's tea stained paper. This is tracing paper that I printed some of the floral ephemeras onto. Graph paper, and that's another one of the frames from the front. I thought you could use it as a photo frame, or you could do a little bit of journaling inside there. And that's a flip out page. Another of the bingo cards. There's a planner card and tag like all the other pockets as well. Another altered paper clip there. That's from the freebie kit. That's from the second kit as well, the Life of Bloom 2. I really like how that looks. I think I might actually get the full journal size kit as well to uh, mix and match the pages from the teens. I think that looked really nice. This is just a cellophane bag that I had and I, I've just added it in like a clear pocket to hold this journal card. blue themes. I think that has to be one of my favourite file folders. I just love the way that rose looks. Against the ledger paper and script. That's another of the mason jars. The mason jars, they come in a, uh, quite a variety as well. That's another piece of ephemera that I just stuck on some pink lined paper that I had. I was saying about the ephemera, uh, they come in themed versions as well. Just like these things to do, I've, as you saw earlier, I had the rose one. This is a butterfly one. I included that because of the butterflies in the kit. That's another of the fuzzy cut images of uh, florals from Daisy's kits. Finally at the centre. I've added a butterfly. And there's that charm again. And I've added a little 
flower be this one because of the uh, bloom the name of the kit going back it'll be similar it's the um, different <coughs> prints sorry fuzzy cut paper now because this was the full size journal kit I had to move along the pages so I just added some washi along there that was from the full size kits as well Another bingo card. That's the other side. No, this one it, you can actually open up the cellophane like it's meant to be opened. Could pop in other things instead, instead as well. So that's your journaling card, and that's another one of the titles pages. So you can stick that somewhere else and create a tuck spot or a pocket, or just to cover up a bit of a blank space if you have le any left. Lots of space for journaling, as you can see as well. Another of the jars and the file folders. If you wanted, you could actually turn these into <coughs> mini little journals as well. You could put, add in a few pages, and you have little little mini mini booklets inside there as well. Cut off the tabs if you want. Add a bit of flowers there. the tracing paper print out again that's the tea stained paper I uh, didn't glue down the sides but if you wanted you could create another pocket but I just thought with these coloured pages being all pocket pages I left it as a flip out instead so you've got more journaling space that's another of those coin envelopes with another of the planner sheets and a journal card inside there Oh god, just prints. There's a fuzzy cut page there. That's another tuck spot behind the ticket. Just added a leaf and a green gem on this one. And there's another tag. And planner cards. I've included quite a few planner cards. You don't have to use them all in this journal if you don't want to. I guess you can move them around. Same with these bingo cards. You've got journaling spots behind them. You could stick them down like uh, glue them along there so you've got tuck spots as well tuck spots come in handy for adding in your receipts or pictures you don't actually want to stick down that's another fuzzy cut image that's been used in a couple of kits as well so you could, they all mix and match these very easily with one another it's that paper bag and another file folder there and just a bit of the scrapbook paper I think they're from die cuts with a view. Gorgeous images again. So you've got your butterflies and your flowers and some birds. There's a lot of work that goes into these, all the different layers. I think it looks beautiful. There's the rose again on the doily paper doily. Another things to do list with the washi tape. I added that there. Another beautiful file folder. Tuck spot there under the ticket. It's the envelope pages inside. That's the scrapbook paper. You've got one of the shrunk down ATCs, as well, large ATCs, floral ones. And I shrunk this down as well. It was some telegram. It's a journal behind them as well. That was the other side of that music paper. I printed that out twice, so I popped that onto the envelope again. And I had to enjoy that. I just wanted something with roses at the end. And there's the other side of the pocket pages that I included. I've put in some of the vintage ephemera that comes with the kit and uh, another fussy cut floral there. So you've got a few bits and pieces in there that you can stick around where, where you want. And that's the two envelopes again, similar to the one in front. Now in the back it's another hidden pocket. You've got your, a tag in there and a calendar card. And what I've done with this is um, there was another envelope coin envelope style and it contains 
postcard as well. Now you could put that into there if you wanted. I kind of liked just tucking it in like that. So you've got a bit of a flip up as well there. And again, you can stick post-it notes and things on there as well. So I hope you uh, like that. It's gone to 20 minutes, past 20 minutes again. I'm really sorry for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Do like and subscribe to the channel, please. I'll be back with a few. I've got, uh, got quite a few journals that I have completed, just not got time, had time to record them. But I'll be sharing them soon and I'll be popping them up on my Etsy as well. That's if my Facebook groups don't get to them first. Thank you for your time, really appreciate it. And hope you like what I've, I came up with, Daisy. Thanks. <laughs>